that. Okay, well, oh what? my gosh, there's power flashes all through here, Gary. I mean, just all okay, through got, here, uh, really round through more around the, There's massive power flashes on. going, just traveling out east. I can't see anything on the ground. There's more power Whoa. flashes. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Jim. Yeah, this, what this is just bad, Jim? Gary. Jim, what, oh, direct, man, what direction are you to, looking? Oh, look at that, Jim. Yes. I need to know what direction you're looking. Right now, I'm looking north. Right now, we're over David J. Perry Airport, which is just on the east uh, side of I-35. We're moving back to the east. We're crossing the Canadian River. So that's Norman. Shoot directly hit. back north, up towards uh, the Norman Moore area, all through there. And you're just looking at them power flashes and. The, and um, here. I really can't tell you exactly where they are. Okay, I see them right I'm there. So far south from there, but yep, look at that. I'm following it right here, going eastbound, and it's just a line of power flashes, just one after another. You know, those could. They're expecting 90 to 100 mile per hour straight line winds, but also they're under a tornado there, oh, warning. Oh, there's another big one. Oh, back to the left. Yeah, it's a huge area, so this could be, a, you know, just a huge area of strong straight winds. 100. There's another one right there on the right. Gary. That uh, yeah, boy, another one. Look at this, guys. Another tornado vortex signature. Okay, where is it, Mike? It is going to be near Luther and Dobbs Road and Peebley Road out near Southeast oh 89th gosh, and that. Southeast 104th. That's the one that David's on. That's Southeast Oklahoma City moving over towards Stella. You have the location again? That is going to be near oh, Peebley Road, near Luther and Dobbs Road. That's going to be moving in uh, toward Harrow Road along Southeast 89th. You guys take your immediate tornado precautions. And that's the Stella area? Yes. And later it'd be Little Axe, Pink, and such, and Dale. So you guys down that way keep in mind. Go ahead, Jim. Well, Gary, right now it looks like I just crossed 24th Avenue Southeast here, uh, going eastbound there in Norman, shooting back to the north. And, you know, it must. It, it looks like it could be more or north, uh, north Norman is what I'm looking at. But, uh, I mean, it's just power flash after power flash. It, it's just... Well, you saw them live on the air there. It, it's just causing Where's massive amounts of uh, damage here. But, uh, you know, like I said, it, it's hard for the camera. It's getting dark, and it's hard for us to see. I'm just looking with my naked eye, and you can see the only thing you're really seeing is the power flashes. With my naked eye, I can't see a, a tornado on the ground, but there's there's so much rain and everything, Gary. I just really couldn't pinpoint it for you. All I can, I can tell you is to give you a broad area, but that is on the east side of I-35, moving eastbound. And it's either north uh, Norman or Moore area right there. I believe when I heard Kelly talking about that one uh, circulation that passed over the lows there and moved eastbound, that appears to put that about right where he was talking about, except on the east side of I-35, Gary. Okay, since we're still not getting a, well, at least the last few, last 60 seconds more power flashes, that could have been a tornado in there. Small tornado that spun up everywhere. There's a chance of a large tornado developing uh, in the Stella area. Stella's down there where you, it's down near the Twin Lakes uh, radar area. Uh, so that would be moving southeast of 25 toward uh, Pink, for example. Pink is uh, over into Pottawatomie County. So, and let me tell you, the low level winds are going to increase into this storm. So, as these storms increase here, uh, most likely these mesocyclones are going to increase. And right now, everything's moving a little bit to the southeast, but some of this is going to move north or move east, northeast, and such into northern Pottawatomie County. So right now, the tornado warning county uh, tornado warning is one of them. One of them is for northeastern Cleveland and southeastern Oklahoma County, and uh, on down to the southeast, west of Shawnee, into the Pink area, and west of Tecumseh. So that one has to be watched also. This one off on the north sides of Oklahoma City. The city, everything just I, I, that's OU. I can see OU. Uh, to my north. I'm about three miles south of OU and everything north of there all of a sudden just went black. Uh, we saw a huge power, a uh, huge flash. There was a, kind of a wall cloud hanging down and I saw uh, it appeared to be a funnel. It wasn't all the way to the ground but then all of a sudden there was a loud, lar large flash and, and half the city just went dark up that way Gary. So again there's still stuff tearing through here. And it, it may just be, like you said, small tornadoes touching down here and there because I really can't get a fix on just one large tornado. But uh, all of a sudden there was a large flash and then just half the city just went dark, Gary. Sooner. That's going to be here's, Yeah, I see. There's Sooner. High, there's high, speed, high speed winds blasting 90, 100 mile per hour maybe. 54,000 people, customers without power right now with OG&E. And you know, guys, we're also getting, there's a lot of camps with a lot of kids at OU. Oh, hell. And these are these are not students, these are, I assume, younger kids. But you know, there's a lot of buildings down there, a lot of safe places, a lot of safe places down there. So we're continuing with, uh, go ahead, Michael. 
Um, unfortunately, we're seeing some really, really high speed, much like what like we saw earlier. We're not seeing um, the circulation as tight, but we're seeing real strong winds on the north side of Norman and also some in Flonell developing near Lindsay, so the circulation's intensifying. It's, it's over West Norman right now. Um, what are these winds in here? Punch over there. Okay, okay that's uh, 60, uh, 65 to 70. So the 90 mile per hour winds, very possible in that area where we're seeing a lot of power lines go out, a lot of damage. Uh, same thing came through Moores, it had circulations with it. We have the one tornado still indicated it's now near Stella. And if you look on the Pathfinder, we can show you that particular storm. The latest warning is for east of 25. Yeah, Armstrong, you hit that right on the head. Then it's southeast and you said east and it is east. What I'll do is I'll take that and delete Delete all that and come on back with a, let's, let's do kind of a fan on this. That circulation moving I'll directly toward like it. Just do it right here. And it's just a parking lot. So if we have anything out west that is moving to the east here, this is what, this is just unbelievable. I mean, that is 77. That is just solid headlights uh, coming southbound here from out of Norman. Now, as we roll around, I don't know if you can see it or not, Gary. As we roll around, come to your left there. Uh, keep coming to your left real pretty fast. There's some fields out here right off my nose as this comes over that is blowing dirt, uh, is blowing it. It's not coming into it like it was before. It's blowing out of it. So there's a ton of dirt being uh, pushed out here. I don't know if you can see it right there in that shot, but uh, it's pretty impressive. But anyway, we're gonna duck off to the south here, Gary. I-35, I'm looking over. I-35 is just a parking lot coming southbound okay. too so hopefully there's nothing else that tracks through this uh, way gary or there's going to be uh, major major problems so, okay, Jim Gutter, live Bob Mills, Scott, he's not back to you. once again on the tornado moving toward tinker it's just west of tinker we're getting a scan right now on moar coming by and it is uh, right on it appears at this at this second it appears to be right on south sooner road right along sooner road and it covers a little bit bigger area than that center road it is uh along southeast 59th that's an east-west road southeast 59 that's kind of just west of, that runs right over to tinker air force base and then southeast 59th and then it goes to southeast 44th and we'll go north here to southeast 29th so here's the circulation here's tinker air force base over, base over on the right alan brosey's in that area if alan brosey ever gets his uh his uh stream up and let's talk to david payne david go ahead all right gary again we're on 240 here and uh you can take our shot and just look at the people leaving oklahoma city right now i-240 looks like five o'clock traffic everybody is leaving oklahoma city that they that can and are coming down uh, i-240 right now gary you're looking up to the west northwest here down i-40 where the circulation is we are looking for power flashes circulation is strong as you've been saying just to the west of where i am I do not see any power flashes right now, but again, this has just been an amazing event, and, and, and this thing can, can start to produce a tornado at any time as it, uh, again, as it's real close to Tinker Air Force Base. Gary, is that where you have the circulation right now? Is that pretty much where you have it? Yeah, we have it uh, right uh, in the so south midwest city and Tinker Air Force Base should continue with their tornado precautions. And we have any re actual reports of tornado on the ground there, but I got to tell you, it is significant. I'm looking at another. Uh, cam downtown there's an awful lot of traffic on these roads some people just not getting the word but yeah that circulation is right in the Dell City area and it's moving on up uh, east we call it east at 20 toward Tinker now there has been kind of a surge on all these storms a little bit to the south and we have multiples can you back off on that Michael let's look at that okay uh, take take uh, XL and over on the right, we have a tornado vortex signature in Dell City. That means a tornado on the ground in, in near Dell City, very close to Tinker. And that's that little triangle. Another circulation is just uh, to the what call it, southwest of downtown Oklahoma City, right along, uh, looks like right, right along uh, 40. Uh -huh. And we got one in, in, Ed, in uh, Moore. One. In Moore, there it is. It's moving a little bit to the southeast, not quite as well defined. How about the one back out the south? We had the Kogar one a minute ago. There's that one. Uh, just just northeast you guys in Kogar it's moving to the southeast so Mustang Union City uh, just be alert to circulation there so we have at least four tornadic circulations this time all from basically the same supercell and let's see David Payne David what do you have okay Gary hey we, we just had a, 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 a pretty decent sized funnel come out of the east side of the main circulation here 
situation. Didn't look like a touchdown. The ball was a light cone. A light cone came out of the east side right over, right over I-240 where all these cars are. And the circulation, again, just to my northwest, and we're looking for, for power flashes and anything else. Man, this is the main store. Gary, I haven't seen any power flashes in the last uh, few minutes or so, so uh, we know that at least what I'm looking at, uh, it, it, it could be on the ground, but right now I'm going to say that it's probably not just because we're, we're close to it and we don't have any power flashes, and obviously it's moving to a populated area, at least over a populated area here. But, uh, wow, the traffic is just amazing. But, again, Gary, the circulation just to my west, northwest, and it's coming right at us. Back to you. Let's take Storm Action 7. So Storm Action 7, we're in Norman, and I believe we're looking, we're correct, we're looking to the north on that particular, uh, uh, that particular camera? Okay, well, answer my question. Are we looking?